Wireless Angel, good morning. Reedy. Oh god, I'm the lost. Nope. Wish you'd stop. This is more stressful than I really want to tackle first run of the week. Thank you, Ollie Queen. Appreciate that. Shit got wrecked in town. Roost from buildings and trees down everywhere. It hopped our house, so we just have uh, big ass limbs down. That was genuinely where my first thought went when I heard when I heard the news was uh, you know the the only person I know of specifically that lives in that area was you. So I'm I'm thrilled to see you logged in this morning. Time and V hopes all of you beautiful souls are safe and well. Deranged Optician says that night was terrifying. I can only imagine, um, a couple of years ago, oh, I'm like all watery-eyed, which is not good on a lost run. A couple of years ago, we had uh, a whole bunch of tornadoes push through Chesterfield, which we didn't live in Chesterfield then. We lived uh, back at the rental place. But there were so many tornadoes pushing through the Richmond area. Amber had gone to pick up Grayson from school. Uh, and she had to shelter in place at the school with Grayson. So while all this was going on, we were separated from one another. Um, she had to shelter in place. And I had Rory in our bathtub with a, with a mattress ready to plop down on him at any given moment. And I, I just remember thinking to myself, like... I don't live in tornado country. This can't be how I go out. And then I, the thought that went after that was, this isn't how I die is probably the last thought 75% of people have before they die. Um, yeah, that was that was probably the most scared I've been in recent memory. Was was literally watching the news and seeing tornadoes touch down all around me on the map. Um, I got to take, uh, up the two, I got to wake up to the good news that I have less than one day between me and two weeks of vacation, no longer expected to work Christmas Eve. That's exceptionally cool. My aunt and uncle live just outside the town that got destroyed. My sister had a near miss, it sounds like, but she's fine. Sideline Boyo, welcome, how are you? Um, I'm, I'm dragging ass a little bit, I, I've had... 48 hours, basically, of uninterrupted ass-kicking <clears throat> at the hands of that booster shot, but I'm on the other side of it. I, I'm just slowly trying to recover. My, my brain feels like it's coming down from swelling. Got woken up by tornado sirens during the massive storms the other night. Luckily, nothing happened here, but it made me think of the tornadoes we had in Tennessee last year that hit just a few blocks from my home. Arkham, that's crazy. That means that you live reasonably close to one of my friends that I did theater with. She posted on, uh, she posted on Facebook that, like, a tornado, like, she lives outside of Nashville? And posted that a, that a, a, um, tornado had actually cut a swath through her neighborhood and missed her house. I'll be with you in a, in a second, chat. A lost run first thing on a Monday morning when your brain feels bruised is kind of a lot to process. What's going on, brother? 
Happy to see you. I have some family in some of the areas of southern Illinois that were hit hard. Luckily, they're all safe and good. One of them lost power, and that was about it, thank goodness. Oof. Yeah. Um. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. All right, so I'm going to try this. I'm drowsy. Man, I would have loved to have had that in any any difficult room. It was bad last year. I would drive to work uh, every day through the areas that were hit, and it was devastating. I the 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 uh, 250 miles this pa the path this thing took through Kentucky. This fucking entire entire city is just wiped off the face of the planet. It's it's uh, humbling, heartbreaking to look at. People in my country have become increasingly lax with rules and has been drastic increase. They failed to. Uh, Oh, you're talking about with COVID? I have no idea. I know that my family is caught up. We have got we have had all ten shots that we're able to have. Two, two, two. Yeah, we've had all ten shots our fa family is able to have. So at this point, like, Ace of you know, Spades. we've done our part. D tier one, forty nine months. The boss goes blah blah. D, thank you so much. Thermal Knight, welcome back, brother. Thermal Knight and I were heartbroken to realize that we have two really good animated emote ideas and only one one free animated emote slot, which means, chat, I need your help deciding between two animated emotes. Yeah. One. One animated emote possibility is, um just a flame like imagine the fire like you remember in the legend of zelda when you go into the first shop the first like secret uh, cave where the old wizard says it's dangerous to go alone take this and hands you the wooden sword and he's flanked on each side by fire just a just an animated flame just licking flames just sitting so that if you want you can fill the chat with flames to represent chaos or you can put flames and and you know w you know one flame in there, and make the make the chat look cozy like it's got a nice little winter fire or whatever. Um, the other option is somebody mentioned having an animote that an an e animated emote that is the mascot doing a spit take. A and. Exactly, like I don't want to do an animated version of our this is fine emote Because I feel like there are lots of those but yeah, basically like the fires that explode Has put on the screen but have them moving You're welcome to have one of my spots if you like I say we email twitch and threaten to go to YouTube if they don't give us infinite emote slots. What sucks is uh I don't know. What sucks is, uh, I don't want to say who, but a, a friend, <clears throat> a friend went to Twitch and said, uh, hey, my good buddy Taffy was given, uh, was given a contract offer. And they said, th their partner manager said, yeah. And so this person said, I'd really like that contract offer. Uh, or else I'll consider taking my business to Facebook or YouTube if they offer me a contract. And Twitch's response was, we wish you the best of luck at Facebook or YouTube. And just ended the conversation. Link Day, what's going on? Welcome. Last time you left something to a vote, that was the pinball machines. Would they give us a happy wave or a flippant wave as we were pushed out the door? It literally, it literally was. Mmm. Oh. <coughs> mm. It literally was. If if you would like me to not field offers from YouTube or Facebook, I'm gonna need uh something along the lines of what Taffy has. And their response was, best of luck at YouTube or Facebook. 
And that was that was that was the the straight up end of that conversation. So my idea if we did a spit take would be the mascot takes a sip. It would be very it'd be very like like uh Salmon Max Earthworm Jim where it'd be uh mascot takes a sip eyes get really big and then he turns to the like right or left and blasts and blasts it off you know off to the edge of the frame this Wait is the second. story of the newest denizen of the cave i need to get rid of those green flies before it goes sour on me skeeter skater tier one for over three years skeeter skater thank you so much Yeah, I feel terrible. Brizzy's been trying to get a hold of somebody and just can't. That's a passive. I might as well take it. I don't even think that does anything for me except for it's one third of the spider transformation, the spider baby transformation. Uh... Damn, dude, that little pooplet was trying to push that fly into me. My familiars are trying to murder me. And I don't appreciate it. Yeah. Like, what am I supposed to do with these things? At the very least, Hive Mind is one third of Beezlebub, which means I would have to fight fewer flies. Is that Spider's Katol? Is that what that one does? Bursting Sack? You may absolutely be right. I wish I had a teleport card. I want to go look inside that curse room. I'm just not 100% confident in my ability to get out of there without being hit. Mm, I wish you wouldn't. It's scary. Couldn't help but notice you keep making new familiars. It would be super chill if you did not. tried to lead me. Did you see that? I'm trying not to stand next to that bomb rock. I guarantee you that's how I take damage in this room. Because I just get too close to the explosive rock. Even if I get out of the range of the blast radius of one of his little bombs, I back up or strafe sideways. Ooh, shit. I'm kind of over this. Tower, huh? That feels dicey at best. <clears throat> okay. Amnesia. I have, I have apprehensions. I think I'm fine. I don't think they'll hurt me. But it doesn't make me incredibly confident, you know? Ooh. Greatest tower card of all, of all time. Um... I only get one, so I think we definitely take Rotten Baby, and then we come out here and roll this, and at the very least, that's range and luck, even if we don't get the, uh, even if we don't get the Soul Heart off of it. Whew. And away we go, I suppose. Daffy, I'm not disparaging your friends on here. I'm subbed to a lot of them. I would not expect a lot of them to have JJ Madison's bit badge in most of their channels. Going to Twitch to ask for a contract like yours is a little overconfident. Um... Yeah, we are a fringe case. I... I genuinely... don't know... I don't know what Twitch's take on us is. 
it stands to reason to me. No, okay, hold on. I was not looking to the left, I was looking to the right when that happened. So the risk in rooms like this is not what you're looking at, it's what you're not. I think we're gonna be, I don't wanna jinx it, I think we're gonna be okay. Scary. I just felt sweat trickle down my lower back. I don't know if that has anything to do with the game right now, but certainly the game's not helping. Um, yeah, I genuinely don't know, because like, <clears throat> there are, you know, they, I've never had, like, I feel like we get cast into the same bucket with like people who are brand new partners. You know what I mean? Like, I've never had Twitch reach out to me and say, like, you know what, Taffy? We've been watching you for a while and respect how long you've been grinding this game. Every every time that I've gotten... Every time that I've been contacted by Twitch for something, it generally has been, like, I've been lumped into the same mass email that, like, brand new partners get lumped into. I know that they know, they know about you. They know about my, they, like, they know about my, my audience. They know about my audience, but I don't feel as though, I don't know that, like, e even with the contract, the reason I got the contract was because my partner manager and Noah worked in tandem to make that happen. It wasn't because they said, you know what, we need to find some people to just lock down. And my name was like, oh, well, of course we're going to try to get Taffy, aren't we? It was, we've got a set number of contracts. And my partner manager, you know, coaxed by Noah's um, fervor, coaxed by Noah's um, dedication to trying to get me a leg up. Noah's passion for gaining us advantages. Basically, Scintilla said, I've got a guy who I think is a safe bet to get maximum return on investment. And so Twitch basically backed her play. But, like, to my knowledge, I, I don't know that we... I don't know that we occupy any mental real estate with the people at Twitch. Yeah, D, that's, that, that's, like, for, for my, for my take, I just feel like, oh, shit. For my take, I feel like unless you're one of the top 1% of the top 10,000, unless you're in the top, like, 200 of content, content creators globally, like, I, what's funny is that I still feel like, like, NL was, what, Mr. 101 on that list? NL was Mr. 101 on that list, and I can't help but feel like even he feels kind of outside looking in sometimes. So it's like, I'm I'm sure that if somebody stuck a camera in front of my face, that Twitch's response would be like, Oh, that's right, Laffy. We love Laffy. Hey, man, what's going on, Taffy? Are we going on an adventure? Also, did I just hear you refer to yourself as Laffy? Because I thought you... Hey. I wonder if that even works. I don't see a second... A second... Life tied onto my bar. Um... Oh, I hate this. Get the fuck out of here. Um, so yeah, anyway, I, like, I feel like if somebody, I feel like if some, like, news outlet shoved a camera in front of my face, like, there's a part of me that feels really thankful that I got that contract, because I don't think Twitch was coming to me with an ambassadorship offer anytime soon, you know? Which is a shame, because, uh, 
Ambassador's got one of the fucking most expensive and cool care packages I've ever seen Twitch give out to anybody who wasn't Ninja or Tim. They got customized iPads, they got iWatches, they got AirPods. Or sorry, they got Apple Watches, they got iPads, they got AirPods. They got a customized hoodie, like a like an, an embroidered, personalized hoodie. Belnick says good morning, I hope you're all doing well. Yeah, Twitch is very top heavy with its stream only business model. YouTube is a variety of streaming options aside from live content that makes a much more robust revenue stream and does not require uh This is the story. It's live the streamers to work Denizen god awful hours at this point Twitch is losing. I don't know. I, I still I still have never watched a stream on YouTube. Hofford, tier two forty months. Hofford, thank you so much. Ugh. 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 Fuck! Okay, hold on. Concentration mode. There's too much going on. It's too early on a Monday. No. Fucking quality items have been sparse. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Jesus. It doesn't give me Holy Mantle back. That's awesome. Can you at least give me... I was going to say, can you at least give me Rate of Fire? I don't know exactly what I do here. I can just never get hit again. So at least this is a, this is a permanent tears upgrade because I would have to get hit to shuffle it. And I can only, I can never get hit again. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. But of course. That's a damage upgrade. I may have to start that whole win five dailies thing over again. Ugh. Streams are better on Twitch, but the fact that everyone has to upload their VODs to YouTube says something. Yeah, I need a I need a holy mantle card, but there's it, it, it's not coded to technically give me <clears throat> it's not coded to technically give me more holy cards. I just have to get incredibly lucky. You have mantle? Oh, I do have mantle. Great. Oh God, that one up saved the run. Sorry, book of stoners. Oh my God. Oh, that's a huge weight off my shoulders. Oh, thank God. I don't I don't think it gave it back to me on the respawn. Well maybe maybe it was because we didn't have our health up. That's fair. Ooh, that was scary. Thank you, one up. Still though, this is the uh aura is a permanent tears upgrade. Aura is a permanent tears upgrade because ultimately uh if I if I get hit it, it, you know, you have to get hit for the settings of aura to change. And if I get hit enough to do physical damage, the run's just over, so... Um... I don't know, let's do a single room. Whew. So, anywho, uh, Hlofford, again, thank you for the tier 2 sub for a very long time. So, yeah, I just, uh, I... I I know that some of Champion's hijinks, and I know that some of your hijinks during, like, uh, the binding, or the memeing of Taffy, when we, when we broke hype trains, and when we, neat, when we, um, I should've just taken the bombs, when we subbed every Twitch staffer, I know that that got the attention of the people in San Francisco. 
I feel like every enemy that we've run into so far has been an enemy that, uh... I feel like every enemy that we've run into so far has been an enemy that, like, explodes and or throws bullets when it dies. Does a gold heart pop money? I don't think so. I'd love to find a shop with anything worth a shit in it. I just want to see what's in here. That'd be what? Speed? I don't know that I feel really good about uh, fighting a room full of bosses just yet. feel better than I did a little bit ago, but not by a lot. Again, we have another room with, you know, the blue worms that throw bullets when they die. Lump of coal would have been really cool from Krampus. I'm glad we ended up with pen Pentagram, but our range is out of this world good. So much random shit in each room. I'd really love to find the shop. I'm sweating down the small of my back. I, I can't tell if that's still the booster. I can't tell if that's the tension of a lost run. I can't tell if I'm just nervous about being on camera when I'm feeling this kind of weak. Um, but I am I am not full blown sweating through my clothes. But I am I am definitely sweating. You motherfucker! gonna pin me against the door the moment I walk in. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I'm hungry. That's tears, right? I still don't think I'm keen on it. Like, I'll, I'll come back and do that room if I find myself with a mutt. Like, if I get, like, Death's Touch or something like that, or if I get Euthanasia. Or if I get, like, almost almost anything that makes this run better. Then I'll feel... I'll feel more confident about going in there. health. Range and shot speed, I guess, is fine. I do like Eye of Belial. I like it too much to pass it up. Yeah, it could, it could be, it could be all of the above for sure. I'll take that. It could be all of the above. Alright, well, God help me. Boy, the homing aspect of this feels like it's been cranked up to 11. Jesus. That pin? Kinda. It's the evil pin. song got a very <clears throat> music to lay your lover by. I'm picturing like Kid and Play having sex in a 90s movie right now. Not with each other. That'd be hot. I don't really think I need to see the rest of the floor. I think it's just a great way to try to get myself hurt. Bring on coffee. All the money in the world is because I haven't had shit to buy in the shops. The shops have all been hot garbage.
watching that high top fade bounce around. There's a whole bunch of passionate kissing. And then a shirt coming off at one point. Close up of feet sticking out from under the covers. I wonder what kid and player are up to these days. I hope I hope they're doing well. I got love in my heart for kid and play. Got some hangover Mickey D's and I'm violently reminded I do not like McGriddles. Wow. Really? McGriddles are like not only do I like McGriddles, but um Oh no! Not only do I like McGriddles, but uh um, Fuck off. Um You know the dude, uh, Morgan Spurlock, the guy who did Super Size Me? He actually said that the only thing he's ever considered going back to McDonald's for is, Mc is, is the McGriddle. I almost got hit by this. And he genuinely said the only thing he ever has ever considered eating from, uh, from McDonald's since he did 30 days of nothing but McDonald's was the McGriddle. I had to miss Henry Cavill on the Today Show, or sorry, on CBS mo uh, this morning, CBS Mornings. Yeah, Reedy just started, uh, Reedy just started, uh, Witcher. I wanted it to be Game of thrones -y. It's a little more Xena Warrior Princess, and I don't hate it for it. It's still just fine. And Henry Cavill is a delight. Anka, what's going on? Hello, Taffy, and of course, chat. Taffy and chat, I have a question. Do I buy Arc Veil or not? I don't know what Arc Veil is, so I have no... I have no real no real valuable insight to offer. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, Rini... Oh. I think, I think that show fails miserably if Henry Cavill's not involved. <clears throat> Somebody claimed to have found... Shit. Somebody claimed to have found... Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so fucking cool. So now we have infinite familiars for as long as we can find charges. The first one was battery, baby. This is just what we leave the floor with. God, look at how many charges that get. Like, you can tell he didn't want us... Ugh. You can tell he didn't want people to abuse this. I'm gonna abuse the shit out of it. Um. Yeah, somebody came in here with a sort of dubious link to some some article or online website or blog that was like, Henry Cavill's not coming back. And I was like, mm. for the sake of Netflix, I hope not. If it weren't for me just discovering Arcane without Witcher, I'd be checking out. Yeah, so, like, I don't think this is spoiling Rini, but I will say that, like, Season 1 is not told in chronological order. And I feel like that's, like, legitimately important. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this for the fight, for the boss fight, to see if I can expedite it. Because I was I, I was about halfway through the season before it dawned on me that I wasn't that I wasn't watching this in chronological order. I don't think I've ever gotten an answer from you, Taffy, but what is this game you're currently playing about? Oh Jesus. Um A child named Isaac. Oh Jesus! That's that's. Uh, there's a lot of lore built into this game. Um. God, where do I start? I don't know that I have it in. I don't know that I have it in me to 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 do the whole thing. So. This story came out in pieces over the course of years as each new piece of Isaac released. We got a little bit more of the story. So I'll just give you the bookends of it. 
when it started. This was a story about a kid whose mother was an evangelical Christian zealot who probably suffers suffered from mental illness and believed she heard the voice of God. And in the story of Isaac and Abraham, she believed that she heard God essentially say, you need to humble your son so that he can be holy. And that started with removing his toys, and then it was removing his clothes, and then it was, you need to take his life. And so as she was chasing him, she, she he finds a trap door in his room and flees to all the different levels beneath the, 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 the house. <clears throat> Which includes... Oh, I love Infestation 2. Which includes the basement, the caves, the depths. Then it gets weird. It's the womb. The cathedral where you fight angels and stuff like that. As the story was released more one piece at a time and one piece at a time after that, the realization that hits is that because Isaac's mom and dad are separated and Isaac uh, idolizes and hero worships his father because his father is the one who left, so it's easy, it's, oh no. It's easy to fill in the blanks with a story that, that paints this dad as, as a heroic character because he's the only one who's not around anymore. Um, when his parents divorced, he blamed himself and his mother. So he went into a, 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 a world where he was creating uh, stories. He was like, he was... He was creating stories, um, he was drawing pictures, and, and you know, uh, pa painting his mother as a monster, painting himself as a monster. If they hadn't, if they hadn't been bad, then his dad wouldn't have left. <clears throat> My little delirium is less than ideal. Sure, fuck it, let's go. And it turns out, if you stick, if you stick with the games long enough, it turns out that, uh, at, at some point- OH GOD! At some point, Isaac, uh, feeling dejected and wanting to hide from his reality, locks himself in an airtight steamer trunk. And you find out that his mother isn't actually a monster trying to hunt him with a knife, but this is all a narrative he's made to explain why his father left. He goes to hide in this airtight steamer trunk, and it turns out that the entirety of the game is taking place in his imagination, in the space of time, in the space of moments of delirium between consciousness and death where he's suffocating to death. So the entire game is happening as he is losing consciousness from oxygen deprivation. And it turns out that not only is his mother... Well, his mother's not good. No, Nobody in this story is good. But not only is his mother not the evil monster that he paints her to be, but she is manically, uh, manically looking for him and actually discovers his bones in the steamer trunk in one of the endings. I mean, there's no way to only explain part of it, you know? Like, once you get going, you have to kind of finish it. It is a dark, like, like, explaining this story to people, it is a dark, dark narrative for sure. Ghost baby, you say. I mean, I really don't have anything else to spend the money on. It's not that I'm super excited to change out space bar, space bars, but um, I'm excited to see what potentially could be hiding behind it. If I ever, I was gonna say, if I ever get to see what's hiding behind it, if. Yeah, that used to be the the ending where she finds his bones inside the steamer trunk. It used to be the 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 saddest ending in the game. Now the ending you get for beating mother. 
I, I would say, not even arguably, is the saddest ending of the game where she discovers him drawing her as a monster. And she responds with, you want a monster, I'll show you a monster, and Harry Potters him into a closet. She he heaves him into a closet, tells him that he's just like his father, and mentions that she can't bear to look at him, and just leaves him crying on the floor in the dark. Spoonbender was the only real pickup out of there that was super worth it. But it was really, really worth it. Yeah, the last couple of games have- Oh, God! The last couple of games have ended up with Isaac having a voice, which is new. That's not something that happened in the past. Isaac having a voice makes it so much worse. I feel like I need all the charges. Yeah, God, and then Legend of Bumbo. Legend of Bumbo, you find out that the narrator in this game is the voice of his dad. That a lot, a lot of the stories that he's manufactured have been from, like, homemade toys and, uh... Homemade toys and, and, and pieces of games and characters that he and his dad created that he just clings to. Fuck, don't kill me. I still have so much further to go. There's so much shit in here. I went the wrong way. That clinched me up pretty hard. Small rock? I take it. It made me very slow. I don't know. Maybe for luck I get payouts? Like, maybe I get battery payouts? I don't even know if Horror of Babylon works when you have no health, you know? I have a bunch of keys. Maybe I take Guppy's tail? We do have Hive Mind. It'd be cool to get Guppy. Whore does work with no health. Maybe I just take Whore then. I feel like Guppy is the moonshot, but I feel like Whore is the pragmatic pickup. I'll kick myself if we find two more... I'll kick myself if we find two more guppy items, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's a little too late in the game to be discovering consumables, you know? Well, shit, I was wondering what this big room was going to be. I guess we get to find out no matter what. Ooh, wee, Rick. This guy's invincible until you- I was gonna say, this man's invincible until you die, so if you could die, that'd be so swell. Can't do that. The Empress. Please. I gotta keep my- there's so much happening on the screen at any given moment. I had to keep my eyes peel peeled for the mini pins. Watch me. I was going to say, watch me get nine lives. I'd still take it pretty happily. But I was like, watch me get nine lives in the next room. There's conjoined. Man. Risky. These rooms are risky. Jambrew, good day. I'm in a virtual queue for my booster jab at the NHS. Uh, so you are now the hold music. Congratulations, I hear is quite the honor. I listen. I hope your booster goes better than mine. Ah, oh, so many, so many keys. I am boosted, which is you know, exceptionally cool. I am happy that there is literally like you know, even if a breakthrough case happens to me, I'm probably not going to the hospital, and I'm definitely not dying, and neither is you know, neither is anyone in my family. 
But holy shit, do I feel like I earned that, because the last two shots I have just rocked my world. Just rocked my world. Conjoined with Spoonbender. Hello? Conjoined with Spoonbender. Oh my. Well, I mean, I guess. Whew. It's a hell of a pickup. Um, conjoined with Spoonbender and Eye of Belial is exceptionally good. What do you got? What's going on here? Sad. I just keep thinking that the mini the miniature pins are gonna pop up and slap me. And I don't want them to. That is a double charge, baby. Yeah, I should be spouting batteries left, right, and sideways. What the hell's going on in here? I can smell you. Coward. What's the space bar item? Blank rune? Used to be once upon a time you could use blank card to duplicate the effects of cards and runes. But now blank card doesn't work with runes, and this is the blank card for runes. And the souls count as runes, so we have what is gotta be my favorite blank rune combination, which is the means to duplicate batteries and use these batteries in order to create a shitload of familiars. Uh. Played this run earlier, it's cool to see how the same seed can have different results. How far did you get? I mean, obviously, when you're walking around with the Eternal D6, you're going to see different stuff because people are going to roll. You beat the lamb. Good for you. Shit. Good for you. I've already died once, but I happen to find a... Uh, I happen to find a, a one-up. God almighty, I still don't know if I'm going to beat the lamb. I'm one room of shitty concentration away from getting my ass slapped. Motherfucker, I didn't see it. Uh, let's just go in here, huh? I love how that one room is dark. Oh, I guess it's all dark. Little Gertie. That's my... That, that, that's a, a worthy speed upgrade to pick up. I got an extra... Yeah! I got, I got the extra life as well. Unfortunately, I've already used it. I got ab absolutely throttled, uh by war um I'm having a hard time tracking myself right now I think maybe I just speed run the rest of this. I'm feeling fast enough now to get this done. Queeb, get good rest, man. Happy to have you here, even for a minute. Thank Jones. Nice to see you. I only get one of these. I think it's this one. You do twisted pair. Fuck it. Soul of Lilith. Let's go. Oh, you fuck off. Wow, that was very scary. That was very scary. <laughs> 
That's a very scary but fun fun daily. What's the time placement? How fast you beat it? Coin inside itself. 